Everything went pretty much to plan in Group E. Napoli with a thrilling 3-2 win away against Salzburg. It was much more comfortable though for Liverpool, 4-1 on their travels against Genk. But for Erling Haaland, it was another impressive round in the Champions League. Um, scoring for Salzburg, meaning that he's got six goals so far this season. That's the most by a teenager in a single Champions League season, along with Kylian Mbappe and Raul Gonzalez. Uh, illustrious company there indeed. However, he was on the wrong end of a 3-2 scoreline against Napoli. Meanwhile, for Liverpool, I suppose the big talking point was Oxlade Chamberlain. Given the start, getting a couple of goals, the second one in particular was really nice. Well, they made a few changes, Jurgen Klopp, probably ahead of the, uh, the Tottenham game at the weekend, and to try and get some of the injured players, like Keita, like Oxlade Chamberlain, and some game time for Lovren, things like that. And Oxlade Chamberlain looked sharp when he came on Old Trafford at the yep. weekend, and it's a great addition for that squad again to have him fit again after his, his trials and tribulations with injury. And the, I think it was the first, the, I can't remember which goal it was, the outside of the boot. The second one I said. Is that the second one? Yeah. It was an absolute cracker. I, Sorry, I was ignoring you. Yeah. But that was a cracker. And, you know, Klopp, Klopp <laughs> knows how important he is to this team. And I think it showed at the weekend and Saturday, they need to make sure their squad's uh, bright and big enough again. Yeah. And with Mo Salah back, which is an interesting one with Salah, who wasn't fit to play on mm. Sunday, mm -hmm. yet was fit to play Wednesday. which And is, score. And score him. How he got, we were saying how he got away from yeah. those two defenders, but that's what he does. So that was a quick turnaround for him. But yeah, Oxley Chamberlain back fit is good. Dare I say it for Liverpool and for England. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the one thing, especially with Oxley Chamberlain coming back, is he because of his space, he offers something that Liverpool didn't have coming from midfield, um, and gives a, a, a different option to. Who's a team that's looking best certainly in, in England and, and looking like they're, they're going to threaten to defend their, their title again. So it's, it's all good news for Jurgen Klopp, weekend's result. If you look at a lot of... <laughs> She's I'm very excited yeah. by that. Chat. But if you, look at a lot of, uh, if you look at a lot of Liverpool's goals, they're all <laughs> intricate goals, one-twos and, you know, Salah and Mane finishing. <clears throat> and for those that remember the weekend, he had a couple of strikes. <laughs> she didn't remember the weekend. For those that remember the game. <laughs> I, 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 I'm with you. Carry Trust on. me, sometimes it's difficult to remember the weekend if you've had a good one. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he came on the pitch, he had a couple of great strikes. Another time when he passed it and he could have shot and Klopp was on to him. And the reason is because he's one of the best exponents of striking the ball from 20, 25 yards. Yeah. Saw it in this game tonight, if you remember. But we also saw it at the weekend, and it's something Liverpool could do with more of because a lot of their goals are the little one to us inside the box. There's another little nugget you didn't know. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.